But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. The bread that mankind truly needs in order to live is every word of God. This bread feeds our spirit so we can be strengthened in the knowledge and understanding on how to walk in His Spirit. Romans 8.1 says, For there is no condemnation to them in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after His Spirit. So how often do we need to feed our spirits then? Yeshua told us to pray, Give us this day our daily bread. Though he is talking about our rations of physical food for our bodies, many believe Yeshua is also speaking about our rations of spiritual food, the word of Yah. So we should be daily eating spiritual food, i.e. reading the scriptures and seeking knowledge and understanding. This will enable spiritual growth, i.e. conviction and correction, to adjust us to line up more precisely on that narrow path. With this in mind, consider this passage. How is it that ye do not understand that I spake it not to you concerning bread, that ye should beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees? Then understood they how that he bade them not beware of the leaven of bread, but of the doctrine of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. Our spiritual bread, the words of Yahweh, can be tainted with leaven, the doctrine of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. But what is their doctrine? What are they doing or teaching that is considered a leaven? Let's see what Yeshua says. Matthew 23, 13 says, But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Matthew 23, 14 says, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Matthew 23, 15 reads, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Matthew 23, 23 reads, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Matthew 23, 25 reads, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Matthew 23, 27 reads, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Matthew 23, 29 reads, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Luke 11.44 reads, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Mark 7.6 reads, He answered and said unto them, Well hath Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. So the leaven of the Pharisees and Sadducees, which taints the unleavened bread, the word of Yah, is hypocrisy to the word. Hypocrisy is simply saying one thing and doing another. So the Pharisees and Sadducees say they follow the word, but they actually do not. Yeshua elaborates, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore, whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do. But do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. Yeshua told people to listen to the scribes and the Pharisees when they sit in Moshe's seat, i.e. when they read the parshot out of the Torah scrolls and synagogue, but do not follow their example nor their works because they do not follow what they read in Moshe. Yeshua also says in John chapter 7, verse 19, Did not Moses give you the law, and yet none of you keepeth the law? This is why Yeshua says in Matthew 5, 20, For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> because they don't keep the commandments. <laughs> Proverbs 15, 32 reads, He that refuseth instruction despiseth his own soul, but he that heareth reproof getteth understanding. Circling back to the beginning, eat the spiritual bread. Read the words of Yahweh, which is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, 
for correction and for instruction in righteousness, according to 2 Timothy 3, verse 16. So avoid the leaven of the Pharisees and Sadducees who read the Torah but do not follow it. As James said in James 1, 22, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves.